Hey everybody, I am back here with another Sense of Days Gone By, my weekly warm wax review, although it has been a couple weeks since I have put one up, and that was because, you know, Thanksgiving was happening and my mother-in-law was here, so I was melting stuff, but I just wasn't filming while any of this was going on. So this is part of what I had melted, you know, from, I don't know, the last two and a half weeks. There is a little bit more that I have melted that I'm going to try to roll into another Sense of Days Gone By. So if you don't want to hear me talk for a couple minutes, there should have been a timestamp already passed that said, hey, skip to this point if you don't want to hear me talk. So go ahead and do that if you don't want to hear me ramble. But my parents come into town this Wednesday, December 17th. So once they are here, I'm not filming or doing anything while they are here. No hauls, no warm wax, no warm wax reviews or anything. Although I will try to keep the sense that I melted and then I'll talk about it when I'm back in January. But if you don't see anything from me for those two weeks, it's just because I'm spending time with my parents. I do have a couple good hauls coming in. I have my custom order from Long Came Primitives. I think it's shipping out here pretty soon. My custom um, order from Rose Girls from the June opening should be shipping out. I think Jenny said next Monday. And there is kind of a funny thing about the Rose Girls. So when I made the Rose Girls order in June, my parents historically always come out to see me around Christmas time. And I remember thinking it was a fairly large size order and that I really hoped that the order wasn't going to arrive when my parents were here. And it's not that my mom is going to scold me for spending the money on wax. She knows that I, you know, she knows about the wax. She knows that I spend money on it, but I don't really want her. It's kind of embarrassing for me to have an order of that size come in when she's here because she's going to be like, how much was this order? And I'm not going to want to tell her. And like I said, it's my money. I am a, I, you know, I'm a grown person. You know, my husband works, I work, so the money that I spend on my stuff, my parents, you know, they really don't necessarily care, um, nor are they going to scold me. But I just thought it was just funny timing out of the, you know, the entire time within the tat that my Rolls Girls order could have arrived. It's going to arrive in the week and a half to two week period that my parents are here. And I feel like I'm back in high school, hiding in my room, trying to like sneak in purchases into the house and stuff like that. It's kind of funny. But anyway, so that, that's totally fine. But I'm really excited to get that Rose Girls order, and I will definitely film that in January when I come back. I don't think I have much else that I need to film. Um, and my wax collection is still jai freaking enormous. I don't know what is going on. I, I was doing better at not ordering, like I think in the summertime. And then when fall came around, I started ordering a lot again. So over the Thanksgiving period, I gave wax to, um, I gave some wax to my husband's daughter and her family. And then I sent wax to my mother-in-law. Um, I sent wax to my sister-in-law. I sent wax to my, my mom and dad a little bit ago. And then I also gave my mother-in-law when she went to go visit her sisters, I gave them like a big bag of wax and said, here, just split it up. So I've been giving wax away like nuts and I still have a ton. And I have no place to put any of the new orders that are coming in. I'm like out of space again. But before you guys ask, I know some people say, hey, are you going to de-stash? I de-stashed before. I don't know if I will ever do it again. It just seems too, too nerve-wracking nowadays. You know, if the package arrives damaged or it gets lost and PayPal claims. And that's probably only like 2% of the people out there buying de-stashes. But it's, make, it's made me so wary about it that I would rather just give my wax away for free rather than de-stash it. And when I give it away for free, it's going to family first, for sure. That is the way that I roll. But anyways, yeah, I have a lot of wax. And maybe I should film a collection video again soon. If you guys want to see one, let me know down in the comments because I think I've hit the 300 video point on my channel. And that's kind of crazy because I've been doing my channel now for a little over a year and 300 videos in like maybe the span of 400 days or however long my channel has been up. That's a lot of videos in a little over a year. And I didn't realize that I've been putting up that many um, and if you guys may or may not have noticed, you know, my channel is not monetized. I never have ads on my channel, so I haven't made a dime off of the 300 videos that I have taken the time to prepare for, film, you know, edit, and put up on YouTube. So it's it's a good hobby for me, and I really enjoy it, and that's why I do it. I don't, don't do it for the money. I know sometimes YouTubers get bad raps about they only do the videos because they want free stuff from vendors or stuff like that. You know, that's not what I'm about. I have gotten a few random acts of kindness from a couple people and then maybe also one or two from vendors that I'm especially thankful for and I think I normally always mention them somewhere on my channel. But you know, other than that, that's it. So if you guys out there are wondering if I'm, you know, trying to do this for some kind of not alternate reason. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm really not. This is just really something that I enjoy doing and I hope to keep enjoying doing it for the next year. But 300 videos, so maybe I'll film a collection video. If I do, it'll be in January, but we'll have to see. Okay, here, five minutes, right?
now. And let me start the warm wax review. Starting off with this one from BZ Tarts. And I just filmed a BZ Tarts haul a couple days ago where I hauled a couple of these circus concessions. Now, this one is not a recent... Not the one from this last haul. I got this a couple months ago. But I absolutely love the circus concession from BZ Tarts. It is such a good, sweet scent. Always has a good throw. And a really nice apple scent. Not perfumey. Just really, really nice. But it's definitely sweeter than it is, like, fruity. But anyways, I put this one on in the 24-watt hot plate in my kitchen. And once again, good throw. Smelled awesome. One of my favorites of the week. I always love that one from BZ Tarts. This next one here is Candles from the Keeping Room, and I did recently haul this. This was Gooey Apple Caramel Bread Pudding. It smelled really good on cold and on hot. It smelled exactly like it's described. You can smell the apple and then like the bread pudding kind of scent and then the caramel scent. So you can get it all in there. Just a really nice, warm, comforting scent. The reason that I melted this right away is that there's a hole in the bag right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that hole in the bag was there when I got the tart. And then rather than rebag it, I was like, you know, it's 100% paraffin. It's already cured. I'm just going to throw it on and, you know, see how it does rather than rebag it because the bag was busted. So um, it only had about a medium to a high throw. It did not throw as well as a lot of my other candles from the Keeping Room Bakery scents do, but it did smell good. Um, would I like go crazy getting that again? Probably not. But if it's if it was restocked again and I was placing an order and I saw it available, I would toss maybe a four ounce bag of it into my cart. Now I did melt quite a bit from front porch. This one here is in clover and aloe, probably one of my all time favorite green clean scents. It is an amazing, amazing scent. This is the second four pack I have melted, and it was about a medium to a medium high throw. So. What I have historically found with this scent, that I adore the scent, but the throw is always more subtle. Um, at least out of the two four packs that I have melted so far, I think I've got like six more of these upstairs. But it's such a good scent that I definitely could still appreciate it, even at a medium throw, because you can still smell it. It is still gorgeous, and I still love to sniff this cold. I open up the bag quite often and just smell it, and I just really like how it smells. But anyways... I did two grubbies at a time, and I think I did the best when I melted. No, I, I did two grubbies in a 24-watt hot plate in the, in the bedroom, and then I did some in the bathroom, one grubby at a time, and this actually did the best when I melted a single grubby in my Glade warmer in my bathroom, and it was a high throw when I did that one. So, yeah, great scent, more subtle type of throw. If that's okay with you, then you may want to check that one out. This next one here from Front Porch, this one is in Marshmallow Zucchini Noel. One of my all-time favorite types of scents, zucchini bread, you know, the sweet sugar cookie scent to the vanilla bean noel, and then the sweetness and the creaminess of the marshmallow. This one was especially sweet. It was like tooth achingly sweet, probably a little too sweet for my liking. I kind of like it when you can smell the zucchini bread, you know, like mixed in with that little bit of sweetness, but um, I, it had a good throw. I melted two grubbies at a time in the 24-watt hot plate in the kitchen. The throw was really good, just very, very sweet. If, if that is kind of what you're looking for, I would check that one out. This next one here from Front Porch, this one is Peach Orange Soda. And this one had a high to a good throw when I melted it in the kitchen, two grubbies at a time in the 24-watt hot plate. I really like this one. The blend was really good. You can definitely get like those effervescent bubbly orange notes along with the peach scent. And it was a good peach. It, it, it's not that buttery, strange peach. It's like a fresh peach kind of scent. It's very, very just... I don't know if it makes sense that these are creamy, but the orange scent and the peach together kind of form like one kind of creamy note along with the effervescence. It is a really good one. And this one had a high to a good throw. So that one I would definitely get again. Now the last one here from Front Porch is Pink Sugar Fig, and this one has been in this original packaging here since June, so for about, what is that, six, wait, six months? Five, six months, something like that? Anyway, so Pink Sugar and Fig, and one of the reasons I got this one is because you don't see fig scents a whole heck of a lot in wax form, but the funny thing is when I smelled this, it actually smells kind of perfumey, kind of musky, actually. And I know that Pink Sugar is a you know, is a dupe of a perfume, but, um, it didn't smell like, you know, pink sugar with like a fresh fruit note. It just smelled like a really dark, deep pink sugar, which really surprised me. So I actually melted this up in my bedroom. The first time I melted two of them, I think it really didn't throw that well. And I, I don't remember which warmer I was using it in. And then I melted the two other grubbies. I think the first time was in the glade and it was like, okay, of a throw. And then I melted the other two in the 24 watt hot plate in the same room and it definitely threw better. So I'm going to call this one a high throw overall. 
Um, I would get it again, but if you guys do see this one, be prepared for it to, to smell very, yeah, musky, I think is the right word for that one there. Moving on here to Mariposa Candle Company, and this one here is in Kringleberry, and some of the brightest, reddest wax I have ever seen. And this one here you can see is about a year old. So I was going through my wax, and I was like, oh, like I need to, I need to melt that, you know, see how that one does. And this one surprised me because of the age of the wax. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it had a good throw in my 24-watt hot plate in my kitchen. I was not able to find a scent description for this one, so maybe she doesn't carry it anymore. But I think I can smell orange, apple, cranberry, all of those like holiday type, you know, fruit scents that you would expect in a single tart was in here. And I really love this one when I was melting it in my kitchen because I've been in the mood lately for more like of these type of scents, like rather than bakery scents, I've really been enjoying my fruity scents. And this one just knocked it out of the park. One of my favorites of the week, like I said, good throw for year old wax. I was shocked. It did it really well. Now, this next one here is also from Mariposa Candle Company in Triple Enchantment. This one is also not quite a year old, you know, like 10 months old, something like that. This one is a beautiful scent. It's Egyptian amber with florals and citrus. I put this one in the Glade warmer upstairs and the 24 watt in my bedroom, three cubes at a time. And it did really darn well. It was a high to a good throw. Beautiful scent, although I think it's a little powdery. Although looking at the scent description, there's nothing in here that seems especially powdery. Well, it has floral notes. If it has a violet in here, violet to me is always pretty powdery, but it is really pretty. Definitely you can smell the florals in there. Really nice scent. Um, and I was very happy with the throw from that one. Now this next one here is from Rainbow Melts, and this one was a sample I got with my last order in Elf Sweat. This is probably, hands down, my favorite holiday scent, even though you can get it year-round. It's a candy, candy canes, candy corn, syrup, and soda pop bubbles. It is sugary sweet, but it's not, it's not like, doesn't have a candy sugary sweet. It's just a different kind of sugary sweet. It's not like cotton candy either. It's just perfect. And also with that effervescent note, it just makes it really fun and playful. I absolutely love this, this scent of sweat and it is carried by multiple vendors. So you can normally find it from a couple different places, but I did put this one on in the 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen and it was a high to a good throw, bubbly fun scent. I absolutely adore it. And of course from Rainbow Mouse, I knew I was going to love it too. So that one did real good. This next one here from Rainbow Mouse is in Fluffy Peppermint Noel. These were four um, snowflake tarts, I think. And I melted the snowflakes all individually because they were a little on the bigger side and I didn't know if two would fit that well. So, um, no, are these cookies? Oh, wait a minute. No, cookie. No, no, no. These were the snowflakes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I melted it in the Glade in the 24 watt hot plate in the bedroom and it was a high to a good throw each time. I wrote down that it was just kind of, it was minty and fresh. I mean, obviously it has vanilla be Noel. It has peppermint. The fluffy part, I think that's marshmallow, but I'm not completely sure, but it just smells really, really good. That may also be like fluffy snow. I'm not sure, but it is a really good winter scent. And like I said, I do like the peppermint in it, but the other notes are strong enough that the peppermint is not overwhelming the entire tart. So really did like that one high to a good throw overall. This next one here is from Rose Girls, and I melted this for my husband because he loves these type of scents. This one is cinnamon glazed oranges. This one had a high throw when I put it in my 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen. I really did enjoy the scent. It was more of a sweet orange and I could smell the cinnamon, but the orange to me was definitely stronger than the cinnamon and my husband did enjoy this one. Yeah, man, that one's really good. Definitely smells like Christmas and I have a whole pie of this coming, um, I think in my, in my next order. So I'm really excited to have to stock up on this one because this was the first time I even was able to smell the specific scent. And I know that it is a hit with a lot of their customers. So I was really excited to melt it. And I was happy with the performance from that one as well. Okay, going on here to Starlit Candles. This one was a free tart I think I got on my last order and lemon poppy seed muffin. And I really do enjoy the scent, although it is very, very sweet when I was melting it. Sweeter than I expected, almost like an icing type of sweet. And it didn't smell that sweet on cold, but for on hot for some reason, it just sweetened up. But this one I put in the 24 watt hot plate and it was about a high throw. I did only let it go for about three hours because I was about to head to bed. So I don't know, um, maybe if it would have changed a little bit as it had melted, but it was a high throw when I was, when I shut it off at the three hour point, but definitely a very sweet lemon scent. The next one here is from Super Tarts and this one is in Gooey Sugar Cookies. 
And Brandy did a video one time where she explained like when marshmallow is added, normally the word gooey is in there, I think. And then there's also the word sticky. I think if you see that in other scents and that means something else. I can't remember. I think gooey meant marshmallow. So I think this is marshmallow and sugar cookies. I got this in a sampler. So it was like a glass of milk with a straw and a cookie in the top. So I got two melts out of this one total. Put it in the 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen. Good throw. Um, the scent at the time just didn't suit me. And I think that's because recently I've been reaching more for fruit scents, apple, cranberry, and orange scents over bakery. And then I put this on and it was just so strong and so sweet that it was just kind of overwhelming me. So nothing against the wax of their scents. It was just my mood at the time. But it is definitely a good piece of wax. Very sweet, spot on type of scent if you're in the mood for a sugar cookie. Very, very sweet sugar cookie scent. But you can't beat the throw from Super Tarts. Her stuff always throws like crazy. Okay, this next one here is from The Bathing Garden. This one is also an Elf Sweat. So you, um, earlier, I know I talked about Elf Sweat from Rainbow Melts. It's the same scent, the candy, the candy corns, candy canes, um, the effervescent soda pop bubbles, and syrup. So the same scent, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I smell any difference between this one and Rainbow Melts. This one had a high to a good throw when I melted three cubes at a time in my 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen. So I was really, really happy with this one. Definitely very strong in the kitchen on the throw. A little less noticeable in the living room, although I could still smell it. But I was very happy with the performance from that one there. Going on with the bathing garden, Pearls of the Ocean. I really enjoyed this one. Um, and the scent description is pink sugar, suntan lotion, ocean, sand, ocean, and then sand. Fresh breeze and mandarin orange. And... I do not like coconut scents, but this one, there's enough stuff going on in there that that suntan lotion scent, which I'm assuming could be coconut kind of smelling, I don't really smell it. it. Just overall, it does smell just so amazingly beachy, but then also just very, very pretty and relaxing. It's a really gorgeous scent. I would absolutely get this one again. I put this one on in the bedroom and the bathroom, and it had a high to a good throw um, overall between the two of them. So I wrote down also that when I was melting it I didn't know what was in it and I thought it had a salty scent with pink sugar so that that was what I was smelling when it was when it was hot now this one also does kind of smell maybe like something from Lush but I don't know I don't know if this is a Lush dupe and I don't think that it is but it definitely reminds me of something from Lush although I can't put my finger on what that is right now this next one here from the bathing garden this scent was just amazingly beautiful Grapefruit, olives, and fresh watercress, which is, I've never seen fresh watercress in a tart before, so that one's definitely kind of an interesting one. Just fresh and floral is what I wrote down. I don't know if there's supposed to be a floral note in here, but that's what I thought I was smelling on hot. But I put this one on in the, bed, in the bathroom first in the Glade Warmer, and it filled up the entire bathroom, was pretty strong, probably about a high throw. And then the next day, I melted the next three cubes in the 24-watt hot plate in the bedroom. And it was more of a medium throw. I mean, obviously, it's a bigger room, so I wouldn't expect the throw to be as strong. So I'm going to call this one a medium to a high throw overall. But it is a beautiful scent. And I am such a sucker for, like, clean green scents, like that front porch one, clover and aloe. And this one has the fresh watercress. So, yes, I'm definitely, definitely digging this one. And I think now knowing that there's grapefruit and olives in here... I don't know if I can necessarily pick it up, but it is just really, really good. If I saw this one go up again, I would absolutely get this again. And I would die if this one ever came in a sugar scrub because this is exactly the kind of scent that I would like in my Bath & Body Products. So that one is really, really good. All right, this next one here is the first tart I have ever melted from the Bee's Knees. And this is from my last or my first order, first and only order I've made from the Bee's Knees in cranberry apple marmalade. I know earlier I was talking about how I was reaching for apple, orange, and cranberry type of scents and this has everything in it in one tart so i threw it in my 24 watt hot plate good throw very very happy definitely a good start to um, my relationship with the bee's knees wax and this was just such a good scent and it doesn't smell like there's anything else in here other than just those three fruit scents very bright very authentic fruit scents just straight up fruit absolutely loved it good throw so i'm definitely looking forward to melting um some more of my the bee's knees Getting here into 30 Street Wax. This first one here is Jillian Owens. This came from the Holly, the Hollywood, the Halloween restock. This is a sweet and mis secret and mystical blend, smoky, mischievous, and herbaceous. And I don't really know exactly what is in here, but um, when I did melt this, it was a little bit more subtle when it was on hot. It was about a medium throw. 
I wrote down that it was a beautiful woodsy blend and I really enjoyed the scent. So I would absolutely get this one again for the scent. Really, really good. Although I think that this one is just a more subtle scent overall. I mean, it is kind of, um, it smells more delicate, I think, like a delicate woodsy scent. This next one here from 30 Street Wax. This one here is in Monsoon Wedding. And I really like this one. Orchid, Peony, Water Lily, Watercress, Aloe. Oh, Watercress. I lied. This one has it too. Aloe, Bamboo, and Summer Ripened Berries with a Hint of Sunshine. One of my favorites from 30 Street Wax. This is like the Cupcake Tart. I put this one on in the... What did I melt this one in? I think I put it on in my bedroom in the Glade Warmer. And it was about a high throw. I wrote down that it was beautiful, salty, and floral. And it really is just a really gorgeous water scent with a decent throw. So that one was one of my favorites of the week. I always enjoy that one from 30 Street Wax. Now going on, the last one here from 30 Street Wax. This one here is Wing of Bat. This is black raspberry, vanilla, and Rice Krispie Treats. Although the black raspberry scent in here is really strong, which is just blackberries and raspberries. Um, but I put this one on in the 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen, and it was just very strong. I could smell it. You know, it was it was going everywhere. Um, but I will say, though, it just, I could only smell black raspberries when I did melt this one, which is okay with me because I like that type of scent so much. But yeah, the throw, I wrote down the throw was like a high to a good throw overall. So that one um, did knock it out of the park pretty good. Now, this next one here is Two Timing Tart, and this one is one of my favorites from Becky. This is Shamar Moore in Black Boxers. This is... Um, I think blue sugar, linen, and amber. I didn't write down the scent description, but I think that's what it is. But I put this one on in the Glade Warmer um, in my bedroom. And before, this one has thrown pretty good for me. This time, it was about a medium high. But it's a really great scent. Musky and sexy. Just really, really nice. And I think all of her Shamar Moore blends have blue sugar in them. I think. I think. So anyways, I love blue sugar blends. So that's another reason why I really love that one. This next one here is from... Up the Creek scents, and this one is in Burnt Sugared Zucchini Bread and Butter Cookie. Holy moly, this one was strong. Probably one of the best throwers. This one may be the best thrower of the past couple weeks. So I put this one on when my mother-in-law was here. I cut it up into two pieces, and it was just kicking some butt in the 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen. And the funny thing is, is that I have smelled the burnt zucchini bread scent on its own and it doesn't necessarily have a burnt smell to me but for some reason this blend I could smell the burnt smell stronger than I can when it's on its own the butter cookie is also really strong in here and I don't know how to describe the butter cookie scent maybe it has an almond undertone to it I'm not exactly sure it definitely it smells kind of distinctive but yes this one performed really really well was throwing like a madman Okay, this next one here is from Victoria's Designer Creations, an orange cran apple zucchini bread. And you can see this one here is about a year old as well. So I wasn't really sure what to expect from this one. So I threw it in the 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen and it had a good throw. It was doing really, really nicely. I could smell the cranberry and the apple I thought were the strongest like fruit notes I could smell out of there. I could also smell the zucchini bread and it smelled more spicy to me than like creamy, I think as far as the zucchini bread, but I'm not sure. But this one is a really beautiful blend, perfect for this time of year. It's got the orange, the apple, and the cranberry in there, along with zucchini bread. How can you go wrong? And for for it being one year old, I thought a good throw out of there was pretty darn nice. Now, from Victoria's Design Creations as well, I dug this one out. This one is also a year old in Spice Blackberry Marmalade. I put this one on in the 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen, and this one also had a good throw. It was kind of thrown like a beast, although... I did not smell any spice kind of scent here. Um, I did smell like the orange scent and I do also smell the blackberry and she's got a good blackberry. It's very just like straight and to the point, authentic blackberry mixed in with that orange I thought was pretty darn good. But once again, I don't know what the spice portion of that was supposed to be, but I really did enjoy that one good throw. Going on here to vintage chic scent. So, when I was going through my wax, I was trying to pick out the ones that were older. And you can see here, this one is also older. This may have been from her very first opening, her first or second opening, I'm not sure. But this is a GG, which is Greta Garbo, Greta Garbo um, Honeydew, Watermelon, and Cantaloupe. It is a really good scent. So it being a year old, I was like, okay, let's just see how this one does. I put it in the Glade, of the, the Glade Warmer in the entryway, and I could smell it real easily in my loft area. It was really strong upstairs. 
not as strong downstairs, but it definitely threw up. It just did not throw out a whole heck of a lot. And then I also put it in my kitchen in the 24 watt hot plate and I could smell it really strongly in my kitchen and a little bit more subtly in my living room. So overall, I'm going to call this one a high throw, but for year old wax, I was like, I was thinking it did pretty darn good. And it is a really nice, super fruity, super fresh scent with all of the, you know, with the, the cantaloupe and all of the melon scents in here. Definitely super nice and kind of more summery, but I was really in the mood for fruit scents. So I was really glad I put that one on. This next one here is a scent shot from Vintage Chic Scents and Grandma's Pearls. I've melted this one fairly extensively. The first time I melted it, it threw really well. And then ever since then, it's been more of like a medium to a high throw overall. And then I put this one on again in the glade in the bathroom. And it had like a high to a good throw. So, so for some reason, this one just seemed to throw better for me. I mean, it is the bathroom, more enclosed space. So that could have been it. But um, yeah, this one was really nice. It's marshmallow and lavender vanilla, and it is very, very, very sweet. Okay, this next one here from Vintage Chic Scents as well. This one was in Purple Haze, and this is marshmallow jelly-filled zucchini donuts. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? You've got zucchini bread, you've got jelly, you've got donuts and marshmallow. I mean, all of these just really, really, really nice scents. So I put... um. Two tarts in the 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen, it was a high throw. And then I put one tart in the glade in the entryway and it also did pretty well. When I was working upstairs in my loft area, I could smell this one really easily upstairs, just not as much downstairs for some reason. So I'm gonna call this one as a high throw overall for this past week, but it is such a great, great scent. I think that is probably one of my favorites from her. Another one here from Vintage Chic Scents and this, I, I'm pretty sure I hauled this in my very first video. Um, I mean, her very first opening. This one is Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again, obviously referring to Gone with the Wind. And this one you can also see is over a year old by the time that I melted it. So Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again. That one is Wadberry Mousse, Marshmallow, and Zucchini Bread. And I actually, I have never melted this scent before, which seems kind of strange to me. So I must have just, this one just kind of got shoved in the stash and I just had to refine it. But um, no, I did melt this one one time before in a scent shot. But anyway, so I put three cubes in the 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen. Didn't really seem to do that much there, but then I put the other three cubes in the glade in the entryway and it really blossomed for some reason in my entryway. I don't really know why. And once again, it was really strong upstairs in my loft area. So for some reason, all of my vintage chic scents this week in my entryway seem to have thrown up real well, just not out as much for some strange reason. But this is a really good zucchini bread scent. Of course, you have to like that thick, scent of the wildberry mousse. If you don't like wildberry mousse, just don't get this one. But I'm going to call this one a high throw overall for that particular clamshell. Coming to the end here, one more here from Vintage Chic Scents and White Christmas. And this one is Buttermint and Vanilla Bean Noel. I put this in the Glade Warmer in the bedroom. I really could only smell it if I was kind of closer to the warmer. It was more subtle throughout the rest of the room. And I wrote this one down as a medium throw overall. And, and that also I thought it was like a really nice sugary minty scent. I enjoyed it, but it really wasn't my favorite that I've had from her. But yeah, that butter mint in there is real nice and minty. Definitely stronger on a mint scent. Medium throw from that one. And then the last one here um, on this really long video is World of Wax and Suds. And this one is in Pink Laundry. And uh, I put this one on in my bedroom in the 24 watt hot plate. The pink sugar was definitely stronger than the laundry scent. If I did not know that laundry was in there, I... I it almost could come off as a straight pink sugar scent, I think. Um, but anyways, I did enjoy this, and I, I think I would seek out blends like this in the future, although I think I would enjoy it a little bit more if the laundry was a little bit stronger in there, uh, maybe like 50-50 with the pink sugar. But it is, it is a nice scent. And on cold, I think I can smell the laundry more. On hot, I just remember the pink sugar being a tad bit stronger than the laundry. But still definitely a good quality piece of wax because the throw was a high to a good from that one. Okay, so you guys, I think that is it. That is the whole sense of days gone by for this week. So I'm going to get uh, edit this video and hopefully get it up here maybe today on Sunday. I got to watch, watch it through and do the timestamps and everything. And then with any luck, I can film another sense of days gone by here in a couple days and then get that one up um, before my parents come into town. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend or had a good weekend. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.